On this episode of Vogus Prospecting, I show you how to use any metal detector to find fine alluvial gold. What's up guys, Chris here from Focus Prospecting. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. And if you're an old moldy beanie with the right riding around the right way, welcome back. Today I'm out with the SDC to do a little bit of gold prospecting, but not in the way that you're probably thinking of. I'm gonna take the whaling wand and every time I get a target, I'm gonna dig it up and just put it in my bucket. Metal is heavy, gold is heavy. Metal and gold usually settle out somewhere near each other. So what we're doing is using the SDC as an odd enhancer to finding gold. Now I've already got a target where Mick and I dug out 2.05 grams of gold in a high banking session. So chances are that could be a tasty piece of candy. About there. How big is this thing? And that one target's filled my bucket up, so we're gonna process it. Well, we got a heap of micro-fine gold. That that is quite high bankable. That's one 10 litre bucket unclassified and it wasn't quite full. Moment of truth. Heaps of fine gold. And I still haven't found the metal thing. It's definitely not in that hole anymore. Did I drop it? Maybe I might have dropped it. Before I go any further. It's still in there. Ah, there we go. A tiny, tiny, tiny piece of wire. But the theory's working. Look at how many specs are coming out with it. Let's go find another target. I can see our target. It's a nice, long, thin bit of wire. Ooh. That's pretty good gold. This is the third spot we've dug. That's the bit of wire that we detected. And that's the gold that came out with it. That is nice looking bits. Three separate targets, three different spots that would easily add up if you high bank them and the soil there. This is what doing this method's all about. So this just helps you narrow down spots without really having to do with nearly as many test pans. I just found another one. Whatever it is, is in my hand, that might be it there. Yeah, bit of steel. And I got absolutely no gold with that one, so that was a bit of a dud. Grizzly, are you tired, buddy? You look real tired. I've now got three new high banking spots that I found in about 15 minutes, and I only did four pans to find them. But for now, this is all the gold that we got for this short little session. That is not too shabby for just four pans. Well, three pans in a bucket. So next time you hit a creek, whether it be dry or running like this, take your metal detector, find the heavy things, do your test pans around those heavy things, and chances are you'll walk away with a better idea of what's going on in the creek. So until next time, guys, please keep your dog warm for me. Peace and ah, and I'm out.
Oh my god, that's easily as much as we got from the high bank and clean up. <laughs> How prospecting can change on a dime.